here's a couple of voicemails that came in. One is from the Eggman. Let's take a listen. Hi, guys. I just saw Joe Biden's speech, and I just want to say he wasn't eating anything, and there were no F-bombs, so he aced it, and that's basically all he had to do. Thanks a lot for all you guys do. Have a great night. Oh, David, do you know the difference now between a swag bag and a swag bag? I hope so. No more swag. Okay, so that was like, it, it, when we were talking about the swag bag with Luke Vargas last week that Republicans were handing out at the DNC, I called it a swag bag, which is, of course, something, uh, swag, something different altogether. And also one voicemail on Sandra Fluke. Hi, David and Lewis and Nathan. Um, this is Mark from Orlando. I was just commenting on your comment about Sandra Fluke speaking at the uh, convention. And actually, I thought that what was more important was not the fact that Rush Limbaugh had said things about her, but also the fact that she had been one of the people who was scheduled to speak about the importance of birth control at the congressional hearing, and she was barred from the congressional hearing. Okay, uh, so I've, I've heard this from enough people since I made those comments that I, I, I have been somewhat swayed. In, the, in other words, it's true. Really, the issue was her, her speech was suppressed. That's really the issue, and that's a valid reason to have her be allowed to speak. However, it, in the public eye, mo more people know about the Rush Limbaugh comments than they do about that. And I'm sure a lot of people just had no idea who she was in general. That too. And on Chuck Norris doing a commercial where he says there will be a thousand years of darkness if President Obama is reelected, I used to think Chuck Norris was a decent guy, what with Walker and all of the memes. It made him look like even though he's this apparent badass, he's still a pretty nice guy. I can't look at him the same way, knowing that he's a deluded member of the God Squad who publicly wants to take away his own wife's marital rights. Maternal rights. Uh, maternal rights. And a thousand years of darkness? That sounds like my experience watching any Chuck Norris film. And lastly, I guess freedom means fascist corporate theocracy for that Jesus cultist. Well, we know freedom has very, very different meanings. Well, uh, depending on uh, whether you're on the, the uh, conservative side of things or not. And, and for example, the freedom to marry whoever you love, that's not really a freedom that the right thinks you should have, Lewis. No, no, that is something that uh, you need to check out the Bible on and, and make sure you're educated. On today's bonus show, we'll talk about a beverage worker tied down and forced to watch porn and have strippers in his office. Was Lewis there? Was Lewis one of the strippers? We'll find out about all that stuff. Also, PETA losing a Kansas State Fair lawsuit What's that all about? Get the bonus show. You know you want to see what's going on there. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.